welcome back to the game day show. And you know what is just as fun as cheering on the hogs on game day? Of course, doing it in style from t-shirts, hats, dress shirts, and kids gear. This week, we're going to go inside the Hog Heaven store to check out all of their new gear for a new era of Arkansas football. This is kind of like Christmas come early. Uh, we spend all spring long approving new artwork and now it shows up in the stores. If you've ever walked into the Hog Heaven store at Bud Walton or the new store in the North End Zone, you'll notice all the new looks. And they're going to see a brand new store. It's been renovated, new fixtures, and all the new product that's here. We've really brought in nothing's pretty much left from the previous store, so we feel we've got the right things our fans want. Michael Harris is the Director of Licensing and Revenue Generation at Arkansas. Him and his staff have worked months to get the latest brand styles and merchandise in the stores, all with the help of their merchandising partner, Die Hard Fan Supply. It's been six months of a lot of fun for me because we got to rebuild this store. We've renovated the store. We have new product lines, new everything, new brands coming on board. From Nike to Peter Millar and Columbia, the Hog Heaven store is filled with something for everyone. I feel like we set something up that's really done well for us. Uh, we've seen a lot of uh, women start to come to the store and our sales have gone through the roof since we introduced this concept. The sure. Southern Trend is definitely one of the top boutique brands around the area. And as the players say, you too can look good and feel good while enjoying football on Saturdays. We feel we've really struck a nerve that we're going to do a great job for our fans, bringing them what they want. So I got to tell you, the new Hog Heaven store in the North End Zone is the newest extension of that Bud Walton store. And what I thought was really interesting is the process it takes to get artwork approved for printing. Michael told me in one month, he approved 1,200 pieces of artwork before it could be printed on any piece of merchandise. I'm a big fan of those vintage logos. I think that throwback look is pretty cool. All right, time to throw it to break.